talk about automation frameworks okay so guys to be precise with you i'll be talking more about automation framework when we will start automation but as that's a part of the automation basics so i'll just give you a basic knowledge of it that what automation framework is and then we'll be seeing how we'll be going to create a framework so first of all what is automation framework so it's a set of protocols rules such as coding standards object repository and data handling beneficial in terms of code reuse portability maintenance the framework provides the basis of test automation simplifies the automation effort so what happens actually when we need this automation suppose you are automating only one functionality you have written only one test script of course you don't require to write an automation framework for this because there is only one script if there is any there is any change comes you can go ahead and make the change and done but when this one test script one one automation script becomes 100 then it becomes very difficult to manage them suppose in 100 test cases 100 test scripts there is a user name there is a password so there is a username and password in more than 10 test scripts if that happens then and if there is any change comes in the password or in the username you may have to go to the 10 test scripts separately and make the change which will be very cumbersome process and it may be possible that you make you made an error okay it may be possible that you you know somewhere you have written something different somewhere you have written something different or spelling error or space error may have also if i talk about what you have done you have created your script but that is keeping in mind for windows but what if you have to run it on linux then you'll go back on all your scripts and make that change what if you have written your script for firefox browser and you may have to run it for chrome browser then it will be difficult to make multiple changes so it's always suggested that you create a framework for that because framework is the one which will help you out and solve all these problems instead of writing one thing again and again we will write it only at one place and reuse that again and again it will be very easy for us to maintain it because that your terms of framework that's in the framework where you can make changes very easily portability so of course you have written on windows and you can run it on any other operating system the framework provides the basis of test automation and simplifies the automation effort it is actually helpful when you have multiple scripts or multiple test cases so framework is very important and that's the reason if you go and say that you have done the automation or you have a knowledge of automation they will always ask you about the framework they will no uh, they will not go in the basics they will always go with the automation so it's very important so what are the automation frameworks do we have we have linear framework we have structured framework data driven framework keyword driven hybrid driven there are multiple types of frameworks we have what is the methodology for automation first of all uh, you know methodology means how you decide whether you need to automate or not so first of all you take a decision whether this project needs to be automated or not because that is becoming very complex you have time or methodology you have less resources all those things you have less budget because of that you thought to automate that when you have thought of automating it what tool do you want to use you think on that so you pick 3 to 4 tools it certainly depends you pick 3 to 4 tools create a proof of concept create a proof of concept guys are you all aware what is proof of concept poc abey is aware of that anyone who is not aware of that can just say anjani has heard of it kushal is aware of that okay great not created on my own yes that's perfectly fine of course okay rasika says no so guys what is proof of concept is whenever you are suppose you are shortlisting some tools there are multiple automation tools in the market correct so how do you decide whether which tool is best for you of course you can go ahead and you know take a list of tools you can see pros and cons of those tools but those pros and cons of the tools depending on the blogger depending on the editor who is writing about that particular tool it may not be applicable 
it may not be possible that those advantages or disadvantages are actually correct for your project. So always what we do, we shortlist few tools like three to four tools. We develop or create a POC. Create a POC means you actually use those tools to automate one simple step. Use all three tools what you have shortlisted to automate a simple script and then figure out the pros and cons of that tool based on your experience and based on what other people say and then you create a PPT and show it to the management that this is the tools we have taken up this is the POC this is how it works this is the advantage this is the disadvantage and then you shortlist one tool out of it and that's what we call test tool acquisition and, and it does not like uh, you are talking and we are uh, learning Selenium and you will go ahead and say Selenium and that's it, they will accept it, no. You have to tell them that this is the POC and this is the benefits of opting Selenium tool uh, and then if they are happy with that, then they will go ahead with that. They will say go ahead, else they may ask you to come back or for with more details and all that stuff, okay. And it becomes very difficult to, you know, uh, to impress your management when there is an existing tool running like QTP is running and you wanted to suggest them Selenium tool then it becomes very difficult because they may say that all the other projects are working perfectly fine with the QTP why should we go ahead with Selenium what is the best part so that's what you need to highlight and need to say that these are the things which automate with QTP with Selenium you can do that so that's where test tool acquisition comes then you do the test planning uh, that what all test cases should be automated and start developing your test cases or test scripts. Then you execute them and manage them. Then you show the result of all those test cases and send it to all the stakeholders that this is the result. Cool. Got the automation life cycle now. So far you must have seen software testing life cycles, software development life cycle, but uh, now Today you have seen automation life cycle. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.